Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about Uniglow. As many of you guys know or might not know, I really like Uniglow. I like the collaborations that have come out. I like the clothing that they produce and Uniglow is one of my favorite brands. I will say that Uniglow is one of my favorite brands. But yes, we're talking about Uniglow today because you can probably see it right here. I'm currently wearing one of their newest collaborations. It is the Uniglow X JW Anderson. They've done JW Anderson's collaborations before, but I saw this in their stores and I tried it on, really liked it and decided to buy it. And I'm sharing it with you guys today. So before all of that, I will say that if you're new here, welcome. My name is Josh. I usually do fashion videos centering around men's fashion. I also do history of fashion videos and I'm introducing different types of things into my content as well. More of an about me. It's honestly the hardest part of all this is, is talking about my, my interest and different types of things like that. Talking about the clothing is easy, honestly. I really like talking about the clothing. I like talking about the brands and the history of the brands. But the hard part is introducing more of myself in these videos. But regardless, those will be at the end of the video. So with that, I wanted to talk about this Uniglow and JW Anderson collab. So I actually have the little um, thing that came with the hang tag right here. J it says JW Anderson and on the bottom it says Uniglow. And here is some text from this as well. I'll read it off to you guys, but it does say this. So Uniglow and JW Anderson, this collection takes inspiration from British heritage garments now updated by Jonathan Anderson, one of London's most innovative and forward-thinking designers within Uniglow's lifewear. This timeless collection reflects our core values and thoughtfulness, quality, and excellence in material and functionality. So let me just show you guys because I think it looks really cool. I really like this flannel that I'm currently wearing right now. I'm going to walk back here and you guys are going to see it. So this is currently how it looks right now. It is a blue and yellow colorway and overall it feels really nice. It is 100% cotton and let me button this up for you guys really quick and I'll be able to show you guys how it looks buttoned up because honestly it looks great. It looks fantastic and another piece that I really wanted to show you guys. I'll show you guys in a minute, but this is how it looks buttoned up right here. I'll probably do another video where it's a little bit more of a close up shot, but overall it looks and it feels really nice. I cannot, I cannot like not say it enough because it feels really good, but there is some caveats with that and I'll get to that in a second. But the thing that I want to say I really like about this is the colorway itself. And honestly that it's fall. I know I mentioned it in my previous video that I really like fall and I really liked how it's starting to feel more like fall and like the clothes that are coming out and that I'm seeing makes it feel more like fall. And this is a prime example of it. So like I mentioned, JW Anderson, it's here. And this is in a medium for people. I always get this question too. I am 5'10", I'm around 165 pounds. And yeah, I'm just like a medium, slim to medium build. So if you fit that description, then a medium is perfect for you. But sometimes it's not <laughs> because of how different brands do their clothes. But yes, I am a medium in Uniglow and I will say that this fits really well. One of the things that I do really like about this shirt uh, specifically is that on the left hand side, you could see JW Anderson. And I really like that it's embroidered because you know that thing is not going to be coming off in the wash. So pretty cool. I really liked it. I really like that he included his his logo. If you actually buy like JW Anderson, like mainline stuff, which is like not the Uniglo collaboration stuff, that thing, those things go for the hundreds of dollars uh, on different sites. So just letting you guys know that. And sometimes he doesn't include 
his initials on the clothing as well because I do have a JW Anderson polo right here. I was a little worried that this polo would be too small when I originally bought it. This is an um, his last collection with, uh, with the Uniqlo. I got it in a large and it is too large for me. So for sure, I know that I'm a medium. And if you fit my same build and description, then you're probably a medium too. Just letting you guys know that. But they do also have a size tracker if you guys want to check that out. But overall, I do want to say that the collection and everything I've bought from Uniqlo has been fantastic and has fitted really well. It's lasted quite a bit of time and it's some of the pieces that I really like the most and I do wear the most. Uh, I do want to say, like I mentioned earlier, there is a little bit of downsides, especially to this flannel if you guys are going to purchase it. I just want to know out how to care for it, how to wash it. So. Like I mentioned, it's 100% cotton. It's made in China. It says exclusive of decoration. At the same time, it does say machine wash cold. So if you're washing it, you got machine wash cold. It only non-chlorine bleach when needed. Line dry, which I mean, just throw it in the washer is what I would ideally want, but it says warm iron. A lot of clothing, like the higher end clothing, I mentioned it before in different videos, it requires you to do like a warm iron, but still because, it, or it says dry clean. And, you know, for me, I personally like having clothing that I'm able just to go through and throw it into washer, throw it into the dryer. Having any extra steps for me is a little bit too burdensome, but if it's something that I do like, uh, or if I know it's something that I paid a lot of money for that I, I like and I want to continue to keep and wear going forward, I will follow the care instructions to the letter. So just letting you guys know that if you guys are buying some of this, make sure to check the care label, um, check the care label, make sure that everything is, uh, everything you're doing is going to be to their direction or else you end up with the shirt that's maybe half your size. <laughs> just letting you guys know that for anything like that. And I think that's it. Um, like I mentioned, uh, the other thing I do want to say is that I really do like these clothes coming out, seeing more flannels because it really brings in the season. It really brings in that fall vibe. One of the other things that I did mention before is that I'm, I'm doing more things outside of, outside of this to make it feel like more fall. I mentioned in my previous video, I went to a pumpkin patch, but there's also other things that, uh, you guys, um, you guys could let me know what you guys do to make it feel more like fall. And I think that'd be, I think that'd be really cool. Besides the clothing aspect of all this, um, talking about different, talking about the season, talking about other things you like or things to do or different activities, I think is always just fun. Just inserting more personality into these videos rather than just straight up like these are, these are the clothes, this is the review. Just showing you guys a little bit more about me. I might, what is it? I might go back to the pumpkin patch. We'll see what happens. And wait one second. There is. Hey. I'm gonna show you guys my cat. She's right here. She's very cute. And I'm gonna let her out. But I think that that is it for this video. And yeah, if you have anything else, let let me know in the comments down below. Okay, till next time.